9 raised to power x minus 6 raised to power s is equal to 4 raised to power s. So we want to find the value of s from this given nice problem. 9 raised to power s minus 6 raised to power s is equal to 4 raised to power s. Let's divide all through by 4 raised to power x. 9 raised to power x divided by 4 raised to power x minus 6 raised to power x divided by 4 raised to power s is equal to 4 raised to power s divided by 4 raised to power x and this one will cancel this one we have 9 raised to power x divided by 4 raised to power x minus 6 raised to power s divided by 4 raised to power s is equal to 1 9 raised to power s over 4 raised to power s minus 2 here 2 2 here 3 we have 3 raised to power s over 2 raised to power s is equal to 1 9 raised to power s can be written as 3 square raised to power s over 4 raised to power s can be written as 2 square raised to power s minus 3 raised to power s over 2 raised to power s is equal to 1. If you have a raised to power n raised to power m, this is equal to a raised to power m raised to power n. Also, if you have a raised to power n over b raised to power n, this is equal to a over b all raised to power n. So from here we have 3 square over 2 square all raised to power x minus 3 over 2 all raised to power s is equal to 1. Then from this rule we have 3 over 2 all raised to power s all square minus 3 over 2 all raised to power of s is equal to 1. Now let 3 over 2 raised to power of s is equal to t. Then we have t square minus t is equal to 1 t square minus t minus 1 is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula and our quadratic general formula in this form is giving us t is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 a c over 2 a then from the equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1 c is equal to minus 1 t is equal to minus bracket minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 so this is t is equal to minus times minus 1 plus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square 1 then minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 that is plus 4 over 2 now t is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 t is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 
over 2 or t is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 but 3 over 2 raised to the power s is equal to t then we have 3 over 2 raised to the power s is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 or 3 over 2 raised to the power s is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. But if you look at this, this is positive and this is negative. So the whole of this equation is less than 0. Therefore, this is rejected. The only resolution we have is 3 over 2 raised to the power s is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. This is the only resolution we have. Now let's take the log of both sides. Log 3 over 2 raised to the power s is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then this is s log 3 over 2 is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now let's divide both sides by log 3 over 2 divided by log 3 over 2 divided by log 3 over 2. This one will cancel this. We have x is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 divided by log 3 over 2. Take note of this rule that if you have log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b so and this become s is equal to log 1 plus root 5 minus log 2 divided by log 3 minus log 2 then s is equal to log 3.236 minus log 2 over log 3 minus log 2 then log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771 and log 2 is equal to 0 0.3010. Now let's substitute. S is equal to log 3.236 is 0 0.5100 minus, then we have log 2 is 0 0.3010 divided by log 3 is 0 0.4771 minus log 2 is 0 0.3010 then s is equal to 0 0.209 divided by 0 0.1761 then S is equal to 1.1868 and this is the final answer. We can check to confirm if our answer is right or wrong. 9 raised to the power S 
minus c is raised to the power s is equal to 4 raised to the power x. Now let's work with this. When x is equal to 1 point 1868 then 4 is to the power s is equal to 4 is to the power 1.1868 then this is equal to 5.2 then let's work with this again we have 9 is to the power s minus 6 is to the power s this is equal to 9 raised to the power 1.1868 minus 6 raised to the power 1.1868 must be equal to 5.2. Then 9 raised to the power 1.1868. This is 13.5. 6, 7, minus 6 raised to the power 1.1868. This is 8.385. Now let's subtract the truth. If you subtract this from this, we have 5.2, which is equal to 5.2. We satisfy the given equation at S is equal to 1.1868